Welcome. Here's what I'll be using on today's 11 by 14 hardboard canvas. If you want to use the same papers and stencils I'm using, you can click on the PayHip link below to purchase my digital download files. This will give you instant access to my supply list and instruction sheet, printable collage papers, and my print for hand cut, tracing, or transfer files. Of course, you don't need to purchase these. Feel free to use any stencils you already have, or you can paint or draw on your own designs. I like to use a hardboard canvas for my art as it will easily take anything I throw at it, but you can use whatever kind of canvas or material base you prefer. So let's get started. I was originally selling this as an art kit and I sent stamped tissue paper uh, to the purchaser. So instead of stamped tissue paper, you could just use um, regular pin printer paper. Just tear some sections of it and put it out on your canvas or your art journal or whatever you're doing in whatever configuration you like. Then I'm just gonna Mod Podge these on. I like Mod Podge. I like to put it down, put a layer on top, smush my papers down a little and then either tamp all over with my brush or you're, as you're going to see me do in a few minutes I get a couple of baby wipes or one baby wipe and wad it up and then just pounce all over the canvas to give me a nice even texture in the background. I water my Mod Podge down just a little bit because I like the way it behaves better when it's just a little bit thinner. I'm taking a bit of a plastic shopping bag and putting it in my clothes pin. Going to dip it into some teal and then I'm going to pounce here and there on my little green leaves. I've got my leaves laid out so they're not all going the same direction. I want a good mix and you, then I can move my bag around to another unused portion and go in with some of my white. Just here and there Grabbing another little piece of plastic, going in with my green. And then I'll just keep adding, pouncing in some different colors till I get everything like I want it. To make a nice golden tone, I'm putting just a little drop of red into my yellow, mixing that up with my popsicle stick and got a little teal out and then I'm gonna with my baby wipe, just start dabbing some color here and there in the background. Then coming in with my off-white and I'm just going to keep moving things around, adding paint, taking away, messing around till I get it just like I want it. Now I love these colors, but I want to calm them down just a little bit. So I'm going to take some of my off-white, tamp it off into my baby wipe and then onto the canvas to push everything back and soften things up. Next, I'm going to use my stencil and decide which way my flowers are going to ultimately be laying here. Then I'm going to get my dauber and my off-white. My dauber is a clothespin, very high-tech, and a makeup sponge. And I'm going to tamp off most of the paint. And I'm just going to go around and put an outline for my flowers so I know where they're going to go. Now I'm going to separate my leaves and start looking at how I want them on my canvas. I know that there's going to be modeling paste flowers over where I've got it marked. So I'm going to try to take that into consideration. Some of them are going to be directly behind where the flower is. Some of them are going to be in the center between the flowers. I'm going to 
leave a few off that are going to go that I'm going to glue on at the very end so that there's a few leaves that are actually on top to give a little more dimension. Then I'm going to use just a little bit of my Beacon Fast Grab glue and tap on the back of each of the leaves to get them to stay in place. When my glue is dry, I'm going to go in and make sure that I've gotten rid of all the little glue cobwebs that might be there. And then I'm going to apply my Mod Podge all over the canvas, getting out any cat hairs or anything else that might have gotten in there. Now I'm going to go back over with my baby wipes and give it all the same texture. Now I'm going to coat my extra leaves front and back with some Mod Podge to make so sure that they are sealed forever and ever. And I'm going to put them onto a piece of wax paper and when they're dry they'll just lift right off and be ready to glue on. Now that my canvas is dry, I'm using my X-Acto knife to go around and cut off all the extra leaves that were over the edge. And I get out my stencil again and my modeling paste. I use this Alex Fast Dry for my modeling paste. I buy it at Walmart, great price, and uh, it's supposed to last 30 years on the outside of your house. It's great stuff. I'm applying a thick layer here. I want my flowers to be really raised up. I'm not worried about the texture that I'm leaving or getting it all smooth because I'm going to do all kinds of things to make it unsmooth in the end. And I just want to make it so that they're all about the same height is really my only concern here. And because we have that nice Mod Podged background, if I get any on my canvas where I don't want it, I can just wipe it off with a baby wipe or a wet paper towel. Next, I'm going to take my little hors d'oeuvre toothpick and go around and any places that might have seeped under the stencil that I don't really like, I'm going to see if I can remove those. And then I'm going to take my little plastic spoon you could use any tool here, but I want that kind of curved. And I'm going to go around and try to just put some little divots into my flower, starting in the center and working my way out. Not being real precise here, just going in and making some marks to give me the nice flower texture. As I go, if I get a glob on my spoon, I'm just wiping it off on the, to the side there on my wax paper. changing up my direction a little bit for my blossoms that are about to open and my buds. My modeling paste is completely dry and now I'm excited to get to painting. So I'm mixing up some different colors for my flowers. Uh, the cool thing about ranunculus, ranunculus or Persian buttercup flowers is they come in lots of different colors. So you have lots of choices.
I'm going to use my medium round brush to apply a base coat over each flower and making sure I go around and getting all the white covered up around my edges. Not worried at all if I go off onto my canvas because I've got that nice Mod Podge base and I can quickly wipe up any areas I need to. When I'm satisfied with my base coat of all my flowers, I'm going to stick my palette inside of a Ziploc bag so that I can use them again in a few minutes when my paint is dry. Now I'm going to add a little bit of off-white into all my colors using my popsicle stick to stir. And then I'm going to go in and just here and there, kind of in a circle, going from the middle out like we did before and putting those little accent colors in. And I'm going to follow the same pattern as I did before when we put the texture in. Adding some more off-white now, making them even lighter, and going in to put another layer on. I mix up a little more of that nice deep golden orangey color for the centers of my flowers. I'm using my long liner brush to drag in my stamens. Our inoculus flower does not have these long stamens, but I took a little liberty just for fun and added them in here. Now I'm using the other end of my toothpick and adding some little dots at the end of my stamens. I'm taking my little cranberry color there and going around those inner circles and just putting some little lines around there to finish those centers of the flowers off. Tapping a little bit more of that golden orange in the centers. And for my final step, I'm getting my decoupage extra leaves out, deciding where I want them. And then I'll glue them on with my trusty beacon glue. If you'll notice, I have a dark red on my palette. I made that with some red and a little bit of the green and I put a few more little lines around my centers of the flowers but somehow not sure what I did with that video so I apologize for that 
Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're interested in purchasing my stencil cut files and printables, you can click on the PayHip link below the video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'd also love to hear from you if you want to leave me a comment. If you hit the bell button, YouTube will notify you each time I add a new video. So until next time.